Hi, I'm Piano Valley, and we're having a good fringe! Yeah, yeah okay, well, uh, my name is Piano Valley, and I tend to notice things that other people don't. For example, I've noticed an unwritten rule in advertising, and it's this, you're not allowed a woman in a suit in an advert unless there's something wrong with her organs. <laughs> she's not allowed, not allowed. She'll be walking down the street, and she's not going to get to the end before organ trouble strikes. She'll be walking down the street, and she'll suddenly go, Whoa! Oh no! Organ trouble has interrupted my independent career-driven day. And it's one of four things. Constipation, diarrhea, period pain, or bloating. First three, fair enough, you can get medicine for that. Bloating? It's not an illness if the cure is a yogurt. You can't get a prescription for a yakult, so just stop it. Just shit. And then the narrator will come in and say, I think all in trouble, or whatever it is. And she'll do like this. Because <laughs> the sky is where the narrator lives. And she'll morph into a blue silhouette of herself, except bald and genderless, so we can all relate to it. And where the organ trouble is will be red glow. Shit. We know red is bad because of traffic lights. It's serious. And the cure for red glow is blue arrow. Yeah. The mouth will sort of open and blue arrows will fly in! Ah! With or without consent, we don't know. And they'll make a sort of recycling symbol in the red glow. Surely it makes purple, doesn't make purple. Red glow goes away. Often accompanied by a high note on a stringed instrument, because that's what wellness sounds like. That is an absolute rule. Now I've said it, you'll start noticing it. It's a rule as absolute as the rule that when a group of middle-aged women are gathered around in one of their kitchens, they must find Drivita fucking hilarious. <laughs> Just loving it. Dry, cracker wood bread. <laughs> right, um, a little more about me. I, I live on the Isle of Man, and if you know anything about the Isle of Man, you'll know that because I'm here, it's empty. <laughs> And if you ever visit the Isle of Man as a tourist, you'll realize quickly that everyone who lives there looks like me in a series of increasingly unconvincing disguises. <laughs> Often out of breath. But because I live on the Isle of Man, it means I have to fly a lot, and it's in this really tiny plane, so I don't fit in the seats, because I'm a giant man. And, uh, like, the seats are shit for normal people, because the designers are morons. They thought, right, well, we can't possibly expect people to sleep on our planes like this. But like this! Wow! Sleep City! Bring me a dream, Mr. Sandman! And there's a little napkin on the headrest, so if you have any ketchup on the back of your head, you can just wipe it off. Wonderful. What a pleasure. But for me, it's more of a lower neck rest, so it, it, it kind of constricts my breathing and makes me sound quite scary to sit next to, so I'll sort of, oh, I'll relax on this flight. I can and do sleep like that. And they're sort of, ha, ah, ah, ha, the kind of sleeping noises that suggest there are, there is a great deal of gold under my legs. And if you, if you try to steal that gold and wake me and fail to answer the riddle, I will eat your bones. I will. Yeah, so, um, it's nice to be in Edinburgh. The last time I was in Edinburgh, I was visiting a friend who's training to be a pilot in the RAF up here. And I've got a few other friends who are also in the military or going into the military at the moment. And the one thing we all agree on, no matter what, is that the adverts for joining the military are bullshit. They're adverts for a violent package holiday. Not any kind of real military life. They always try and hide the military stuff in between really cool things. So they go, climb the Alps, make new friends, kill people. Uh, Strike across the Sahara Desert, learn leadership, kill people. You will have to kill people. Just forget the last bit. And it's always, the whole advert is just people doing tasks and then turning away to briefly describe the task to camera and then going back to doing them. And they always have the one northern guy in there, because that's equal opportunities in the army. <laughs> Having a northerner. <laughs> so you'll be watching and it'll go, pressing buttons in a submarine. <laughs> And all the northern people go, whoa! I could be in a submarine? That's better than Hull. I'll join tomorrow. 
And then there's always a stupid slogan at the end, like you could possibly convince them to join the military with an ad slogan. And there's one, there's two, there's two really dumb ones that stick in my head. There's one which is, uh, life as a Royal Navy engineer, life without limits. And that's not true. It's life with substantially more limits introduced in your request. Can I leave the ship? No! You're in the Navy, man! The other one is, you don't have to be a pilot to fly on the RAF. And if that's true, we're in grave danger. Yeah. Now, I like, to, I like to leave gigs where people have learned something, and I say I live on the Isle of Man, I'm actually originally from South Africa, and uh, being an African makes you cynical about African things, makes you less, less sort of enamored with the whole mystique of the continent. And uh, do we all know The Lion King? Yeah! Or do we all know the intro, the song, the intro song? Yeah. Yeah. How, how does it go? You got the words right? Holy shit! <laughs> now I'm going to translate that for you because I'm an African. I was a little more cynical. I thought I'll enjoy this song when I know what it means. This is literally. This, I'm going to end on this. Google it. It's true. This is the English translation of those lyrics. Look, there's a lion coming. Oh yes, it's a lion. <laughs> Right, I'm in Piano Valley, the rest of the show is absolutely fantastic. Thank you and good night.